All right, so today we're going to be installing a Windows 10 virtual machine on a Windows 10 <laughs> machine. So first thing you wanna do is get VMware Workstation. So I already have that, but we're gonna walk you through it. So VMware, uh, you can go to the official site, go to downloads, and then you want free product downloads. Uh, we want Workstation Player because that is the free version. Uh, you can say download now on the left. Uh, they also have a Linux version. So if you want to do this on Linux, it will work as well. Kind of download that, go through the install wizard and you're good to go. The next thing we're going to want is our Windows 10 um, VM. So if you go to, if you just search Windows 10 VMware, um, nope, uh, virtual machine, and you go to developer.microsoft.com. You can download a virtual machine from Microsoft. So this is um, allowed. It's not in any way not allowed. Uh, you can do this on Parallels, which is for Mac, VirtualBox, which is a different um, version of a virtual machine. I think it only runs on Windows and Linux. Eh, maybe Mac too. Hyper-V and then VMware. So we want the VMware version. If you're doing Parallels or VirtualBox, get that one. It'll be the same process. So install that. <clears throat> and it is 17 gigs. Um, it says 20, so some of them might be a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, and this is an evaluation virtual machine. So this includes the Windows 10 SDK, Visual Studio 2019, Visual Studio Code, uh, Windows subsystem for Linux and developer mode is enabled. Um, here's the hashes for each of the different ones. Um, you can run, what is this? It's probably SHA something. Um, <clears throat> just to make sure that you got the real uh, download and someone didn't sneak it in. So we're gonna wait for this to download and then we're gonna install it on VMware. Before we continue with this video, I just want to thank you guys for getting me to 100 subscribers. You guys are all great. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to get subscribed so I can keep pushing that number up. Um, and let's get on with the video. So now that download is done, we want to go to the compressed folder, um, extract it with Windows. This is going to take a second because it is extracting 17 gigs of compressed data um, obviously depends on your drive and your CPU but it should take about I don't know three to four minutes so we'll come back when that's done all right so now that that is done we have our VM disk so this is our OVF file um, we're going to move this. So let's just copy this and put this in our virtual machines folder. Um, you can see I have Ubuntu and Windows Server. I'm going to paste and come on. This is the video full of loading screens. You're welcome. Um, while that's happening in the background, let us open up VMware Workstation. Uh, I have 15, um, I'm not sure what the newest one is, probably 16 or something, depending on the time you're watching this video. Um, and you can see I have three different VMs. Um, we're going to go back to home and we're going to open a virtual machine. Uh, once you click that, it's going to ask you, hey, where is it? Um, it's gonna be in this folder right here once it is done. So we'll just wait for that. And now that is done, it shows the OVF file inside of our folder. Uh, you will not see the other types because it's sorting. It's making it easier on you. Uh, you just want all supported files. Click that one, that's the OVF. It should be super small. Uh, this is actually what links it to the drive, which is uh, this giant virtual disk. <clears throat> so select the OVF, hit open, and name it. I'm gonna name it. Windows 10, 
the path is fine and let's import it. This is now going to take even more time. This is a very intensive process of downloading and extracting and moving and importing. So we're just going to skip to the end real quick. All right, now that, that is finally done, let's mess with the virtual machine settings. So let's maximize this to help you guys see. Um, memory, I like to give it at least eight. Um, if you can't do that, four and actually two is fine. Um, processors, if you have the horsepower, give it some more. Hard disk space, that is fine. And then I like to have a bridged with the replicate physical network connection state. That just makes it look like an actual computer when it's on the network. It's a little bit easier to give it an IP and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to hit OK and play virtual machine. Make sure to maximize it. And there you have it. Windows 10 running on Windows 10. Um, you can obviously do this on Mac or Linux, and it'll be the same exact thing. Let's see what we're greeted here with. User, welcome. Uh, if it's not maximized, again, just unmaximize it and then re-maximize it. And if that doesn't work, then um, go into the settings. Yes, that's fine. If it's not maximized, go to settings and then go to system and then maximize it <laughs> and then display and then just change the resolution to whatever you so desire, probably 1920 by 1080. But there you have it. Windows 10, uh, this is great for developers, for penetration testers, or for people who uh, want to make sure that they're downloading something and that it doesn't have a virus in it, or that it works fine, or if you don't have access to a real Windows 10 machine and you run Linux as your daily driver, this is a great idea. So thanks for watching, guys. Give it a like if you liked it. Get subscribed if you like my channel, and hit that bell icon so you're notified by my next videos. I'll see you guys all later.